so I wanted to make one more video tonight and in this video I'm going to touch on the topic that I touched on all of my last video and um, a lot of you pe a, lot, a lot of people uh, who aren't religious uh, are gonna wonder why they're being targeted um, and uh, you know uh, one of the commenters uh, said that the people the gang stalkers are all walks of life and you're a hundred percent right uh, okay so um, Everyone out here, and I don't care what they do. I mean, it, we're talking police officers, firemen. I mean, I've seen gang stalkers, lawyer gang stalkers. I've seen gang stalkers who are, you know, they every 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 walk of life. They could be millionaires. I've seen every single type of gang stalker you could think of. When I talk about street people, like the street people, um, I'm basically saying that the people who you would come in contact with on the street. Um, a lot of times they will be like the ones that I'll just, you know, mention or something. But it's just like I said, when I talk about that, it's kind of just me coming up with theories and stuff like that. Like, I try to sort of come at this uh, from every single angle you could come at this from. So I think that that's a lot of times like, you know, it'll sound like that's what I believe when I come up with a theory. But in reality, it's just a random theory that I wanted to put out there just in case people were wondering whether that could be the case or or not could be the, you know or if that's not the case um so going back to what i was saying um so basically like it, let's assume that you're not religious at all and you're being gang stalked and you're wondering why am i being gang stalked why are these people after me so uh according to my belief system you are vulnerable regardless of whether you're religious or not like you're still vulnerable like if people are evil and they're out to get you i mean you don't have to believe in the spiritual world in order to you know for these people to want to uh, terrorize you i mean these are evil people so like um let's assume that you're a regular person and you notice that everybody's out to get you well according to the bible that actually makes a whole lot of sense okay you're a regular person so evil can victimize you okay like uh just because you don't believe in god doesn't mean that god doesn't exist so god still exists and you're not you're not worshiping him and he's not he, he's not protecting you so you're not being protected by god and you have all these these satanists and these these demon people who worship demons you have them operating all around you and you don't believe in god well you don't believe in god but you're not worshiping an evil spirit or you're not worshiping a demon either so i kind of feel like at least in the in towards the end of the world you have to choose a side <laughs> like so my take it my take on it is that you haven't chosen a side and uh that's that's why you're probably running into some problems well the point is that we don't really know like uh, evil doesn't discriminate like evil I mean, you're, you're, you know, like, so you're not worshiping the devil or anything. Like, my point is that they can just as easily go after you as they could go after a Christian. I mean, you're not on their team. It's the same, this is, it's the same logic by saying that, you know, criminals can go after other criminals or people who are not criminals or good people. They can choose whoever they want to go after. Like, you know, these people could be uh, using you for some sort of nefarious purpose that they have. We don't really know their motives. Uh, all we know about them is that they're fucking, they're evil as shit. So, what I'm saying is that uh, if you're just a regular person and you're not religious and you're being gang stalked, it makes perfect sense because uh, they have, I mean, whatever reason they have, whether they simply enjoy watching you suffer or, you know, whether they're, you know, trying to turn you to the, the dark side, they want you to, you know, become evil like themselves. I mean, the point is that you don't have to believe in spiritual matters in order to be affected by spiritual matters. So a lot of people will assume that, you know, God isn't real and they're looking around like, why, are, why is everybody after me? Like, why is everybody attacking me? Don't you see what I'm saying here? Like, you don't believe in God, and but yet everybody's out to get you and you can't explain why everybody's out to get you. That's the point. Like, when you insert God into it, it makes a lot more sense. So you could be an atheist or agnostic or non-religious and everybody's still out to get you. But the point is that everybody's out to get you and you can't explain why. I mean, well, I mean, if you if you were a believer, it would make sense. But if you're not a believer, it won't make sense. So you're like, well, why is everybody out to get me? Well, just because you don't believe in the spiritual world doesn't mean the spiritual world doesn't exist. These people have, they worship some evil 
force, <laughs> like, the evil force is sending them after other people who don't worship it. You know, like let's assume that you don't worship uh, the, the uh, Azazel or whatever the fuck they worship. These people worship Azazel. Azazel might want you to worship him and you're not. So since you're not on their team, they can just fuck with you. Okay. Like they fuck with people like demons don't really discriminate. Demons, generally speaking, want to tear down people of God. But I would imagine that if you're not on their team, they can just they can fuck with you as much as they want, really. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just saying, like uh, evil can go after whoever it wants to go after, really. I mean, really, technically evil goes after evil. Technically, these people could go after each other, even if they all worship Azazel, the, the demon. Okay, they really can. They can just do whatever they want. We don't know how this works, but the point being is that uh, these people are into the occult. Most likely, are they're under the influence of some sort of evil force, and that might explain their behavior. And you know, if you don't believe, that doesn't mean that it's not real. So, like. So, like, when stuff happens to you, you're just, it's going to be a lot harder if you don't understand why it's happening if you don't believe in this stuff, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, of course, there's no concrete evidence to suggest these people worship Azazel the demon, okay? Like, their behavior would seem to suggest they do because they're, they're crazy as shit. Like, why, why else would they fuck with you? But, you know, like, depending on your belief system, like, I mean, you know, these people could just be assholes. But then you're, you're talking about the biggest conspiracy in United States history, so it's kind of... I mean, you're going to have to ask some questions. I mean, a conspiracy this big, like, there's going to have to be some sort of really good explanation for it, really, if you don't believe in the spiritual world. Uh, so what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that um, your lack of belief in the spiritual world doesn't really negate any of this stuff like you don't believe in it but it's real and the people can victimize you and all that's going to really mean is that you don't have any protection against it so it's probably going to be a lot worse for you than it would be for me because god could give me a protection from it and you're not going to have that protection so when these people start they're, you know rattling their chains you're going to be more affected by it you may not be able to get past it you're like you're going to be miserable now i wanted to make that point because uh, i feel very good every day and these people are terrible <laughs> like they are fucking terrible like they are like the worst most evil group of people on the fucking planet and every day is good for me i mean i'm not i wouldn't lie to you guys like i'm not even joking like i feel pretty i feel about as as good as you any normal person would feel regardless of their walk of life like i just feel normal i get up and i feel normal and this is the in spite of the fact that these are like the more the worst people who have ever fucking lived and i think that that is kind of like a testament to just like the difference between a person who might have some sort of protection from the divine as opposed to a guy who doesn't believe in it, who's still going up against the, the people who practice the dark arts and shit. Like, uh, if these people, most likely these communities practice uh, witchcraft and the dark arts, okay? Meaning that they're empowered by evil spirit of some sort. Like, these people are into all sorts of witchcraft and shit. Like, these seem like normal people. But they'll just be practicing witchcraft, you know, secretly or some shit. Like, I think X-Files, and I told you guys I, I, I watched the X-Files. The X-Files actually had an episode that talked about this shit. Like, there were some, these guys, these people, they were members of the school board, and they seemed normal as shit. They were teachers and, you know, school board members, and secretly they were worshiping the demon. It's some fly shit. Like, you'd be surprised how much the X-Files tried to cover this shit. But, you know, everybody just thought they were normal people because they looked like normal people, but they worshiped that shit. Like, they, they you know, they cut, got some candles out, like, when Every when school was dismissed and they just lit that shit up and start worshiping the demon or some crazy shit. So what I'm saying is that you're most likely at some point you're gonna have to choose sides. Like if you're not on their these people's side, then you're against them or something along those lines. <laughs> but just because you don't believe in the spirit world doesn't mean the spirit world doesn't exist. So I wanted to put that out there, but in case you were wondering why this stuff's happening to you and you don't believe in the spirit world, I can't promise you that this is the spirit some spiritual stuff because no one knows for sure what i can tell you is that spirituality makes a lot of sense and uh in this situation simply because there is no grounded explanation for this now i would be the first to give you know to to, to admit that uh 
a grounded situation would be most people's first first guess and they would want to go with that but since there is no grounded explanation for gang stalking those no explanation is simple and logical and you know is reasonable we have no choice but to accept that whatever this is is more extreme it's on a more extreme possibility side there is no simple explanation for gang stalking is what I'm saying. What simple explanation could you come up with for a conspiracy that involves every fucking man, woman, and child that you live around? Is there any reasonable explanation for how every single son of a bitch in your fucking, your city is out to get you? Can you come up with a reasonable grounded explanation for why literally every son of a bitch you know is out to get you? There is none. So since you have no choice but to accept the fact that there is no grounded, rational explanation for their behavior, I feel like maybe you should just come, come around and just accept spiritualism because, I mean, what are the theory? What grounded theory are you going to come up with? You want a reasonable theory? Well, what, 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 reasonable, what reasonable theory could you come up with to explain this fucking conspiracy? I mean, there is none. There is none. You know, these people out here, like, why Why would they give a fuck about me? Why do they give a fuck about you to the point where you're uh, some in a, a part of a vast conspiracy of some sort? And then why are you a member? Why are you part of this conspiracy? Why? 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 So the point is that, uh, like, you know, if you don't believe, just because you don't believe in God or spirituality doesn't mean it isn't real. So I wanted to talk about this because I know some of you guys don't believe in this. I know some of you guys don't believe in spirituality. I, that's why I come up with multiple theories. But <laughs> no theory that I come up with is going to really answer this completely. Unless, like I said before, uh, maybe people are jealous of you. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not in your life. I mean, are you are you making them jealous? I don't know. Like, maybe. But Jesus Christ, man. Like, you, like a lot of you will mention. There'll be firemen, cops, fucking judges, lawyers. All these people are jealous of you. But why? Why? So, I mean, I, I tried to address all theories but I want you to understand why people like myself really strongly gravitate towards these spiritual theories because it seems like every theory is going to be extreme and that seems to just be the one that makes the most sense to us at least okay <laughs> but no theory that we come up with is going to just be reasonable so I, I don't know if you guys are holding out hoping that I come up with a reasonable explanation well I don't really see how we could possibly give have a reasonable explanation for the, this, this this conspiracy really so um, I just wanted to put that out there because a couple of maybe you guys are on the fence. So you don't want to believe in the spirit world or anything. And I mean, I respect that. But like I said, I hope you're not holding out, hoping that all of a sudden I come up with like this super reasonable, logical theory that's just so normal and grounded that you could we can't believe we hadn't thought of it yet. Like, it's just so simple. Uh, I don't know. I don't see how we're going to come up with a simple explanation for this bullshit. But I mean, you know, if you manage to think of something, I'm all ears. I'd like to hear what you have to say, what kind of reasonable explanation you come up with. You know, the people out to get you because I don't know, you got a nice car. I don't know. <laughs> you bought, you got the bins. They don't like the bins. Like these people, they're hating on you. I don't know. Are they hating on you? Like they could be. I mean, you, whatever theory you want to come up with, I'm all ears. So just, just shoot, shoot, shoot your theory at me. I'd like to hear what you got to say. Um, so that's pretty much my position on it. Um, and, you know, like I said, uh, I respect everybody's theory, so I don't want to push anything on anybody. But I don't think we're coming up with a reasonable, grounded theory to explain gang stalking, unfortunately. So, uh, <laughs> you know, so just understand why we keep going back to the occult and spirituality. And, you know, that's why. So with that said, let me go ahead and close out now.